I guess most of the collectors have seen the paint rash on my Toyota Century when I showcased the TLV on my previous video. If you missed the video, you can always click on the card above. Paint rash or paint bubbling is a common problem for a diecast car. If you live in a high humidity country like Singapore or in the Southeast Asia region, and this is especially true if you are a Tomica Limited Vintage Collector, most of the collector will face this problem. I shall do another video on how to maintain your TLV car, but for now, I shall show you the technique of how to remove the paint rash. I briefly try out with the roof of the Toyota Century and it works, so hence the video to share with all collectors. You can see the paint rash on the bonnet of the Century, and the roof is just as bad, and now the paint rash is gone. The paint rash for the Century and a couple of my GTR is caused by the wrapper that's in the blister. You can see the outer wrapper on the blister. You wouldn't think much about it, just like me when you first got it. But over time, the wrapper disintegrate. I think caused by the humidity. And once it comes into contact with your car body, the paint job will be damaged and you have paint rash. And in the worst case scenario, paint bubbles. Paint bubble is as good as the car is gone. But for paint rashes, it still can be salvaged by this technique. Materials you need to eliminate the paint rashes are First, you need water because you're going to wet sand it. Sanding sponge sheet from Tamiya in 2000 grit. There's a variety of grit to choose from. 1000, 1005, 2000 and so on. I will start with 2000 given that the model car is small in 164 scale. Hence, you need a final grit. You also need the 3000 grit as well for the finishing. Masking tape to mask away the unnecessary area unaffected by the paint rash, optional fine scissors, and most important of all, polishing compound from Tamiya. You apply with the coarse, followed by the fine, and then the finish. You need to use the application cloth from Tamiya as well, that goes along with the compound. You can see they solid according to different color for different type of compound. Modeling wax from Tamiya for the extra shine and added protection. And today video, I shall remove the paint rash on the roof of the GTR. In fact, you can see now, the entire GTR is badly affected by paint rash, but I will start with the roof to share with all you guys. Masking is a very integral part for this process. You need to mask it very carefully. So that the unaffected area will not be sent off. And now I shall dip the 2000 grit sanding sponge into the water and start my sanding process. One very important thing to note you can't apply any pressure or strength when you are sanding it because while sanding, you are also taking the paint away from the casting and you don't want to overdo it. This process is very similar to removing the orange peel on the larger scale model car. Go in a slow and steady manner in a circular motion and use your finger to feel it to see if the paint rash is there. You can see the sanding mark that is on the car body now. Fear not, and now we shall use the 3000 grit. Again, go very slow in circular motion by sending it, you will cause the scratch marks. Hence, the grit is very important. The final is the final the scratch mark. The surface is not entirely smooth, mean that the paint rash is gone. And now what I need to do is to bring back the gloss just only require a very minimal amount of coarse compound, very minimal here. Dab the compound on the surface and start to polish it in a circular manner. You can see that the scratches is still quite visible. Similar to the course, I'll use the fine compound now. You can see that at this point, there's no paint loss now, mean that it's very safe to polish. The last step is to use the finish compound. Very nice now, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased with this process. In my opinion, I wouldn't recommend more than two or three times for the polishing process. And for the last process, you use the Tamiya modeling wax to bring back the shine on the casting and also as a coat for protection. 
And you can see now the paint rash is gone, as good as new, and I can't be more pleased about it. I will apply the similar process to the rest of the GTR body when I have spare time. And I hope by sharing this video, it will benefit the rest of the collector who share the same problem as mine. Remember to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thanks everyone. Bye.